All right, hello everyone. So I just got home and I saw that one of my videos from like a few months ago, this video I made called the 10 most toxic Roblox games 2020, um, that got 2k views and a bunch of likes and comments. So, and according to the comments, there's a lot that I missed out and there's just a couple of other ones that I found that I just really felt like, well, they're full of annoying players. So I just thought I'd rant about them for a video. And like I said, I missed out a few that people in the comments wanted me to include. So, I mean, I played them for myself and my God, they're terrible. One of the biggest ones I apparently missed out was this one called Mortem Metallum. Please tell me I pronounced that right. I'd played it a few times before, but I didn't play it much, like, apart from that, because it just wasn't really... I just didn't enjoy it. But, I mean, after the amount of comments I got from people telling me to play it, apparently I missed it out, it's toxic. Um, I decided to play it, and, um, yeah, it's... You, you guys are right, it's, it's awful. The people in that game are the single most annoying players to play with, I think, I've seen of any game. Like, it's way worse than Arsenal. I swear, every time you get killed in that game, someone has to spam easy, get owned, kid, you suck at the game. Like, honestly, do you mind just shutting up and getting on with the game? And whenever you reply to them, like, I replied shut up to one of them, as I, as I do in pretty much any game. And they thought that apparently I was salty that I wasn't good at the game. I mean, I was playing the game because a few people in the comments told me to. Like, I don't think... I'd, I'd rather be good at Arsenal than that. It's literally not even a good game. Like, the physics seem kind of 2016 to me. I'm not quite sure when the last update was, but... Never mind, last update was a week ago. And it has a Discord server that I'm definitely not joining because the Discord community is even worse than the Roblox community. Well, they're both just as bad, but I'm not going to join it. By the way, I just thought I should put this out. I'm not actively trying to trash the roblox community at all i'm not trying to trash any communities or hate on any of these games at all like i literally play i complained about uh, dollhouse roleplay being the number one most toxic game in my last video but yeah i play it like every week so i'm not saying there's anything necessarily wrong with these games because i'm not i'm not a game reviewer but just um yeah I'm, I, I'm just saying i guess another one i definitely missed out was the hood now this def this game definitely isn't that bad it's just so irritating to play to the point where you just can't enjoy it like you literally get either beaten up or shot at for no reason and it happens so often to the point where you just can't you just can't literally play the game like someone's always gonna shoot you for no reason and you're gonna lose your guns that's why i only play it if someone like suggests it or plays it with me and you know sure it could be a lot worse because i mean you can't that you can't really see the chat and i mean arguments are rare because under usual circumstances if you try to start a fight with someone you'll just get killed like yeah simple you start a fight you're gonna get killed you probably also remember Prison Life back in like 2016 and 17 when it was like the biggest game on Roblox. It's just so easy to start a fight on there or find someone to fight with for some reason. And the, for the police as well, they are so annoying. They literally fire at you for no reason like they literally don't even understand how to play the game in the first place it's kind of like the hood but it's worse because you just get shot at more and for less even less of a reason like police aren't supposed to shoot at innocent inmates that's not how it works so um yeah stop doing that you you twits shut up now and um yeah sorry i can't believe i missed out animations mocap as well besides from ragdoll engine club iris and dollhouse roleplay this is probably one of the best games to find someone to mic up with from the amount of slenders in this robot can, can i just say something being slender does not look good like can you stop it's the most annoying ass avatar you can have like can you just not it's full of slenders and just terrible avatars and i'm pretty sure everyone with a slender avatar is somewhat toxic so I mean, yeah, animations, mocap, bad game, or well, I don't mean to hate on the game, but um, I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't recommend playing it. F3X World, this is a game that a nine-year-old and an 11-year-old got me into, and I'd love to show you footage from it, but I mean, I'm banned on it, because, um, well, I said a bypass sentence, and it just so happened that an admin of the, like, game was in it, so I got banned from it. It's kind of like a build-to-survive game, but not with no, like, you don't have to build to survive, you just build, and you're less limited as to where you can build and you don't have like you're just less limited in general like you can build whatever you want really and that being said there are a lot of 10 year olds that just build um interesting structures and i remember some some kid tried claiming his dad was vladimir which <laughs> Shut up. And when I said I didn't believe him, he called me an idiot and told me to kill myself, which wasn't very nice of him at all. So yeah, I've not had a good experience at all with F3X World. Oh my god, and here's this really terrible one. Alright, so there's this thing called uh, LGBTQ plus hangout. And no, I'm not against LGBTQ, uh, like, by any means, but yeah, I'm not about to trash the LGBTQ community, but the game, that game in particular, 
there's literally more homophobes that play that game than actual LGBTQ members. I swear to god, with a community like the Roblox community, you will not be able to make a successful LGBTQ game. Which is a shame, but I mean, there's not much you can really do now, so I've just kind of accepted it. Roblox High School 2, I've, I've never played it, but I can just tell that it's bad. Um, oh yeah, and um, Meep City and Adopt Me were two other ones that people kept mentioning, but like, I didn't really talk about them because literally the get the, the people who play those games are five and i don't really know how toxic five-year-olds can be but i mean i just didn't include them because i didn't think five-year-olds could really be that bad there's a lot of annoying home store games on roblox but i'm pretty sure there's one that quite i mean stands out to me it's called goobers home store and it's literally just full of row bangers because they sell the kind of clothes that row bangers wear on dollhouse so it's gonna attract row bangers so and honestly i just i hate row bangers so much like i would if Robangers didn't play Roblox, I would be content with... I just don't want Robangers to play Roblox. I swear to god, any game with Robangers in it, it's automatically toxic. Free the facility is also kind of bad as well. Like, on people get so mad when you kidnap them or kill them sometimes. Not all the time, like, it's, it could be worse, but... You do realise you're getting mad at people for playing the game for its purpose. How can you really get annoyed at someone for playing the, playing the game for the reason it's there? But I mean, despite all of this, I, I'm pretty sure Dollhouse is still by far the most toxic Roblox game. In my opinion, I guess, I don't know. If you if you find any more toxic games let me know in the comments because i might make another video like this because these get a lot of views for, for some reason but yeah like i said i'm not hating on any of these games by any means like just i'm just making a video because the last video got a lot of views and yeah and i'm also not saying i'm like the least toxic person to ever play roblox but like i mean i don't think i'm that bad but yeah that's pretty much all i could pray i could basically complain about every single game on roblox i, I could i could complain about the game i'm playing in the background but I don't want to seem like the most whiny prick, so I'm just, I'm just ending it here. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you find any more toxic games, then let me know because, I mean, uh, I, I need views. Follow my Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below in the description. And, of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. And, yeah, that's pretty much all from me, so have a nice day and in a bit, fellas.